Aries, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your uh, 21 card Gypsy Tarot six month forecast between April and September 2017. So you should have also your April 2017 general month ahead reading up as well for you guys to view. So you can view that next door to this reading here. Okay, um, just to let you know what I'm using for the reading. I'm using my Anna K Tarot deck, which is absolutely amazing. Love the illustration of this card, it's gorgeous. And I'm also using, for clarification purposes, the Lenormand Under the Roses Lenormand deck. Absolutely brilliant. So let's just get those cards out of the deck for when I want to use them. Okay, so. Right. Let's um, start shuffling then. So, Universe Boot, show me what's coming in for the zodiac sign of Aries. Show me Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. For the month of. Oops, dropping cards all over the place. One moment. For the month of April 2017 through to September 2017, what should be coming up for Aries, Summon and Rising Signs? Aries, Summon and Rising Signs in a 21 card Gypsy Tarot spread. Show me their present, their mental and emotional situation. Show me what's going on for them in the next six months in their present situation. What Aries hopes and desires will be over the next six months between April and September 2017. Show me what their expectations will be over those six months. Show me any hidden factors that they may not be aware of that might come in over the next six months. Show me what a future situation will look like concerning this reading for Aries, Sun and Rising signs. And also the overall outcome for Aries, Sun and Rising signs for the next six months between April and September 2017. Show me. Okay, so we are going to split the deck into three, collect it back up as I usually do, and we're going to start laying the cards down. I've had such a time this morning trying to get the camera angles just right so the cards can be seen properly. Um, right, that's six. I like it when the cards are kind of a bit straighter and quite neat and uniform. Uh, let's get the next cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Right, so we have Done the cards. Sorry, they look a bit messy actually, but never mind. We're going to see what's going on around. So this top energy here should be where your focus is, potentially what the situation is. This shows the manifestation of that situation. And these cards should show the reason for what's going on here. You'll see as we go along, Aries. So what's your focus or the situation around the mental and emotional? The devil. Okay, so Aries. The devil is, um, it's not my most favourite card. It doesn't make me shudder like the Ten of Swords does at times, but it's certainly not the card that I, not a card that I really like within the tarot because for me, the devil is all about, you know, hedonism. And that's fine if you are into that sort of thing, but the devil is also about control. You know, I've met a few, fair few devils. I remember when I went to work at that workplace about a couple of years ago or so, 
And one reader on YouTube predicted the situation. Now, there are actually two readers on YouTube that at the time I was watching, and they predicted the situation to a T. And each time in both of their readings, the devil would come up. And this one uh, reader explained this person was a real troublemaker. And the other reader said that they were a very destructive force. And it's true, because this is what the devil is. So, you know, it might be the situation around your, you know, the devil isn't always about people who are destructive. We can be destructive within ourselves as well, Aries. So sometimes when you get the devil card, the situation can be around an obstacle that you are finding within your life. It can also be around people who put those obstacles in place. It can be around abusive or restrictive relationships. It can be around codependent relationships, perhaps. Aries. Uh, it can also be around the fears that you have within yourself. Because when you get the devil, it means that you've got fears. I mean, big time fears. And it's very difficult kind of relinquishing those things. Uh, with the devil card. The devil card can also suggest superficial things, things like beauty, uh, things like the clothes that you wear, the lipstick you wear, the money you have, the car that you drive. There's no real depth, I mean depth of the soul. There is depth with the, the devil in a way, but it's always a very kind of, it reminds me of the moon card in a way, in which the depth is very, always very kind of ebbs and flows, and it's very kind of intense and not very nice. So this is why I don't really like the devil card, really. I only like it when it's in the reverse because it shows that there is a cutting away of some chains. Sometimes this means a really nasty little karmic relationship going on. It means something you're bonded to, but it's a really uncomfortable bond. It's where you can't seem to let go. Sometimes you don't even know what the reason is for not being able to let go. It's something that needs to be resolved. It's a chain card, so I'm not very keen on the devil. But the situation around your mental and emotional will be around a devil or maybe a fear within your life or a restriction or obstruction. Um, but it can also be on, you know, a very... The devil can also, in, the, in a nice way, represent when you're very sexually attracted to another person. So it could mean that there is a great attraction, maybe, that you're very focused on. But we're going to see where your mental and emotional is concern, as a result of this card. Well, it might be to send a message. It might be on receiving a message, Aries. Um, because you've got mentally and emotionally, you're focused on the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands in this deck shows somebody who's receiving news. So it might be that you're very focused on receiving news. And that might be why the situation with the devil could simply be that this is a person who is very, very bonded to you. I mean... This is when you get the devil, this is someone you can't get up your mind. This is the problem with the devil card. This is someone that you are on a soul level very, very attached to, and the bond is real, but it's uncomfortable. And it might be that some of you guys mentally you're very focused on receiving a message from this person. It might be that you're very focused on sending a message to this person. It might be um it might be also the eight of wands. It's a shame that the all the wands don't fly up in the air, because usually that means being proactive. If you're looking to send a message or you're very focused on sending that message. It might be that you know you're very uh, you're being you know you're mentally focused on being quite proactive. The situation is the devil, so this might be a situation that's very very difficult uh, that you guys the focus is around. The devil is pretty much for me a very difficult card. Okay, uh, when you get this in a reading, all right. It can mean that somebody's very very attracted to you. It can mean that you're very attracted to them, but. Ultimately, with the devil, there's always, for me, problems that come with this card. And that could be why, mentally, with the Eight of Rods, maybe you need some form of a conclusion here by receiving news, by communicating around this situation. But what's the reason for that Eight of Rods? Well, I feel that you need communication. We've got two communication cards showing here. One is the Ace of Swords and one is the uh, Eight of Wands. Now, the Ace of Swords, again, is a communication card that says, let's cut the bullshit out. Let's get clear on this. Let's get to the truth of the situation. Let's just get some clarity going here. All right. So I feel that your um, your mental and emotional will be very much on, you know, it could be sending an email. Eight of Wands, when you get this card, it's usually the type of message you would send would be via email. It might be that you, you know, you're very focused on sending an email. And that could be because of the Ace of Swords. You need clarity. So you need mental clarity. Because I feel that this mental clarity being the root issue here in terms of your mental and emotional is feeding through to the devil. And I feel that this is why the crowning thoughts are for some of you guys, you can't let go of something here. You're finding it hard to let go, to relinquish, to let go of the chains. Which is why you're mentally you might be very focused on, well, 
you know, I'd like to communicate with this person, maybe if I send them a text message, maybe if I send them an email, it will be via, maybe if I send them a Facebook message or something across on Snapchat or Twitter or whatever social media you want to use. This is out of ones, it's usually social media. So usually when you get out of ones, it's not very much about uh, vocal communication. This card often suggests, you know, communication that's over the internet. So over the airwaves, you know, because they're energy cards. So um, I feel for you guys, this will definitely be something where you're looking to, you're very focused on receiving or sending a message because you need the truth. Ace of Swords means I need mental clarity on this. You know, I need to clarity. I need uh, something to become clearer to me. So I feel you guys mentally, emotionally are looking for something to become clearer to you because it's something that seems to be holding you back. You've got this devil as a situation, not a nice card. And therefore, mentally, I'm very focused on sending or receiving a message via social media or email or text message because I need the truth with the Ace of Swords. What is your present situation and how does this? Well, it's good because the focus is on the sun. So the situation around your present in the next six months should be a lot of happiness with the sun card, possibly doing a lot of holidaying as well. For some of you guys, sun means hot places. But usually this is about, you know, positivity, you know, renewal, healing, uh, you know, feeling really, really optimistic. So the situation around your present situation looks good. It looks really, really good because the sun is always a pretty much a positive card that you get. Might be new relationships here with the sun card, that type of thing. Well, what's the actual present situation? This can also mean clarity as well. But what's the actual present situation you guys are enduring here? Queen of Cups is the uh, present situation. For some of you guys, it might be that, you know, the situation is good with the sun card. Because what's in the present, it might be a, there as a water sign individual, male or female, could be Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces, or somebody that you have a very, very deep uh, feeling for with the Queen of Cups energy here. When you get the Queen of Cups, it represents to feel deeply, because this is what she does. She is a very deep, I'm a Queen of Cups because I'm actually a Scorpio individual, so... Uh, usually I know this woman very well. I've been in her shoes many a time. Sometimes this is the card of evaluation, but I feel that the situation, being the sun card around your present situation, it should either show that you're looking for clarity with the sun card, or it should show that things are going good in terms of your present situation, in which it's manifesting towards the Queen of Cups energy. And the Queen of Cups is really, when you get this card, it can also be, well, I have some semblance of order in terms of my emotions. Okay, so emotionally wise, I do feel quite balanced. I feel quite rational because this is what she is. She's a natural empath and she's a sympath and she's all of those things. She's really balanced in terms of her emotions. The king would act out these things, but the queen really feels these things quite deeply. For some of you guys, it might be a new relationship with the sun that you're focused on here. And as a result of that, the queen of cups means to feel a sense of satisfaction as well. Just in the knowledge of how you feel. What's the reason though for this with the queen of cups? Yeah, temperance. I feel that you guys are feeling a sense of uh, peace, harmony. Uh, Queen of Cups for me is definitely the card that says, you know, I've come into my own emotionally wise. I'm feeling far more emotionally aware. So I feel that you are in your present situation. There is uh, in the mental something that you need to clear up here. There is something that you need to clear up here, I feel. But I feel that the energies around your present is that you're going to be, the situation is I'm going to be feeling very optimistic because... With the, it's manifesting with the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is, I feel emotionally aware that this is maybe what I want because uh, temperance. Could be that some of you guys want a reconciliation with the temperance card with a particular person. But these cards are a beautiful energy to be showing in your present that you are feeling uh, some semblance of order, especially emotionally wise. These two cards can easily be seen as emotional cards and also the sun to a certain aspect, I suppose. What's going on in your hopes and desires? Well, the fool. The energies are around the fall in your hopes. So the fall card can mean, well, I'm looking for new opportunities. Situation can be around new opportunities coming in. The situation can also be around freedom. Because this is what the fall card is. When you get the fall card, it's about somebody who's free from any type of cares or responsibilities. The energies around the hopes is to, you know, especially here in the mental and emotional, if the energies, situation is around that you're still stuck on something here because... The root issue is you still need clarity and that comes through maybe, you know, mentally you're focused on some form of message that you receive or send. Then it could be that what you get from this, 
the hope would be, well, freedom. At least you've cleared the air. At least you've got the clarification on something here. In your present situation, things are going good for you. So I don't really know how serious this situation is here because in the present, I feel that you guys are feeling good. Could be with a new lover as well. The sun can often mean the situation is a new romance in which you might feel very, very emotionally stable with that Queen of Cups. There's a certain intuition here that says this is the right thing for me. And it might be because you've found balance with the Temperance card. A certain harmony and equilibrium I'm sensing for Aries over the next six months. But I feel that your hopes are with the full, it might be to pursue new relationships, new opportunities, the situation. But it might also be, well, the situation around your hopes is based on freedom. I'm feeling like I couldn't care less, maybe about this situation here. And what's manifesting as a result of that fall in the hopes? What are you hoping for? The two of rods. That's interesting. The two of rods is a hope for me. And I'm just going to take up this card and look at what this guy's doing on the card. Why are you looking so glum? For fuck's sake. It's because he's got a decision. Well, I feel that your hopes are to make a decision here. Which is why... The situation is around being free. I'm feeling like I, I just couldn't care less. I, I just couldn't care less with this situation, you know? Because your hopes are to be able to come to the right decision within your life. Because that's the two of rods. If you can see here, he's got one. He's got ways he could go. He could go up, he could go down, he could go left, he could go right. This person sits glumly because they can't make up their mind. It's indecision that this person feels. But I feel if we were to turn it on its head as a hope, this is really with the two of wands to make a very big decision. And why do you want to make that decision? Because of the Ace of Cups. I think you need a fresh start for some of you guys. Ace of Cups often means a fresh start. It means healing as well. When you get a Ace of Cups in terms of health, it means to be healed from an affliction. And we could see how this would work with the Fool card as well. So I do feel for some of you guys, Aries, over the next six months... You know, it's, it's really weird because we've got a situation here within your um, mental and emotional that says you're stuck on something. The situation is about being stuck with the devil, which is why your mental and emotional is focused very much on sending a message or getting a message from a particular person. Could be via social media because you need clarity with the Ace of Swords. In the present, things are looking good with the sun for you guys, though. You know, it's a really optimistic uh, next six months that you're very focused on in the present. And as a result of that, you're experiencing the Queen of Cups energy as a result of the sun. Queen of Cups energy is feeling order and semblance and togetherness, especially in terms of one's emotions. And that's because with the Temperance cards, perhaps you have healed or perhaps you've kind of been able to rationalise the situation out. However, your hopes are about, about being completely free with the Fool card because the, uh, the uh, situation is around the Fool. And as a result of that, it, this is manifesting in your hopes of the Two of Rods to make the right decision. And that's because it, it could be for some of you guys that there is a new lover that came in with the Fool card. And you're hoping that you've made the right decision or you're hoping to make the right decision because this is a new relationship with the Ace of Cups. So for some of you guys, it could be that potentially... Um, I don't know whether this relates to this new person. There might be a new person here that's coming in the next six months for some of you guys. But your situation is around the devil, all right? So it might be that this is somebody new here, potentially. All right? If we were to try and match this up, it could be that, you know, the mental and emotional, the situation is around the devil. You've got a great sex life maybe with someone a great uh, relationship with someone potentially very, very attracted to them with the devil card. But it's manifesting in terms of your mental and emotional that you need more information. The eight of rods also means information. So it could be, well, I need more information on this person. How do I find out? Maybe you're doing some... I never really see the eight of rods as spying, but often it's something to do with social media. Or maybe you're doing some information, some data collecting or something with that. Maybe because you need to find out the truth. Maybe this is a relationship that's too good to be true. And you're not 100% sort of sold on it. Because in the present, things are looking good with the sun, is the situation. This could be a new relationship for some of you guys. One in which you're emotionally quite invested. Maybe this makes you feel quite balanced as an individual. But your hopes are, if you look at it another way, with the full card, situations around the full, new relationship, new person that comes in. You're hoping, maybe this full here isn't as... Um, 
it's not that they're not serious, but maybe they're just somebody who's completely different to what you've experienced with this full energy here showing up. Okay, which is why you're hoping that you've made the right decision because it's a new real, it's a new uh, romance with the Ace of Cups. It's early days potentially. What are your expectations? Well, the Three of Wands crowns the reading, which is good because when you expect a Three of Wands, you're expecting your ships to come in. You're expecting things to fall into place. You're expecting to get what you've put out there. But what are you actually expecting as a result of that card? Oh, the hanged man. Why is the hanged man here? Okay, so expectations, three of rods. Situation is three of rods. Okay, so the three of rods can be around a situation where you are waiting for something to come in. So I'm wondering if you guys are doing any fact finding on a particular person here in the next six months or a situation here. It looks that way to me within the reading. It looks like somebody new has come into your lives, what, in whatever capacity that takes. And to me, it looks like there's a lack of certainty on there. We don't see, this is the card that sort of makes me think that there might be a lack of certainty with a particular person, Aries. Because you're hoping to have made the right decision. Because this person's like, he's looking so glum because he's thinking, should I go left, should I go right, should I go up, should I go down? So your hopes are, you know, you wouldn't hope for indecisiveness. You'd hope for decisiveness. So your hopes are to be, you know, you've made the right decision here. Perhaps because it's a new relationship with the Ace of Cups. And it's feeding through to the crowning area. What you're focused on being the fool. So it could be that, you know, your focus around your hopes is on, you know, being a fool. You know, this this would work well with that two of wands, actually. Because the fool card means, you know, I've gone into something and I don't really know what it's about. So I don't know whether I'm going to lose my money, make my money. I don't know whether this relationship's going to work out or not. Did I go too fast? You know, have I just kind of embraced this person too quickly? This is what the fool comes in with the fool card. Because the fool card can be one of those cards where we go into things... And we don't really think about them. We just take a leap of faith. So it could be that the focus is on taking a leap of faith within your life here. Because you're hoping that you'll make the right decision. Because this is something new with the Ace of Cups energy. However, I do feel in the mental and emotional, you guys are doing some... You're, you're, you're focused on getting some news. Some form of a message here. And that's because your crowning thoughts are on the devil. And I'm wondering if there is a lack of trust here with this individual, which is why the root issue is that you need to find out the truth. So I'm wondering if something has come in in the next six months and it's far too good to be true for some of you guys. Because you're emotionally invested here. Things are looking good. You seem to be emotionally invested and you seem to be quite settled, Aries. But the crowning area around your hopes are, you know, the fall. Shit. I'm going into this situation and it feels amazing, but I'm hoping I've made the right decision here because this is actually quite new. These cards represent new stuff, fallen ace of cups. It's a new relationship. Am I making the right decision? And it can also be, well, I'm hoping I've made the right decision because I'm really starting to fall for this person. Ace of cups also shows up when the seeds of love are starting to bloom and open up. We're starting to realise that we're falling in love. And here we've got the Queen of Cups energy, which says that you're possibly emotionally invested to a certain extent in this thing. However, you might be waiting around the expectations. The energy might be around waiting for something to come back to you, the Three of Rods. Which is why it's manifesting as what you're expecting. It could be a little bit of a waiting period. The jury is out on this with the hangman. And why is that? Because of the Five of Pentacles. I feel that you're not sure about somebody here or something here, Aries, in the next six months. I feel that you're not sure. Because this card represents lack of spiritual and emotional um, depth. Especially when it comes to relationships. It just does. This can also be financial instability. So for some of you guys, you know... Who knows, it might be something financial that you're waiting for. Maybe you've made an investment in something here and you're not sure. Because this also can be the card of temptation. So if we were to read it another way as well, blocking out the love thing, it could be that the uh, around your mental and emotional, it might be that the situation is something that has been very tempting with that devil card. In which mentally and emotionally, well mentally I need to find out more. I need more information. So this is like surfing around on the net. Because I need 
the reason for this is the Ace of Swords. I need to make a decision here whether I do this or not. In your present situation, everything's good with you guys. The situation is around happiness, the sun. You're feeling emotionally stable as a result of this with the Queen of Cups because you're kind of settled here. Some of you guys might be settled and there's something tempting that comes along to you. Around your hopes, we've got the fool. Well, the situation is around venturing into something uh, new, but it's like venturing in like a child without any, without much of a backstory, in which your hopes will be, well, I hope I made the, re you know, this is taking the leap of faith, and the hopes will be, well, I hope I made the right decision because this is something new. This is a fresh start for me. I hope this is the right thing. But what you're expecting is, well, I'm just going to wait a moment because remember, this is your present. But this is your hopes, all right? This isn't really, this is what you're hoping, so it doesn't take effect. It's what you're hoping, it's what you're hoping for. And this is the mental. This is the only thing that really says where you are at the moment, like physically. But this is your hope and this is your expectation. So your hopes are to make the right decision here because it's something new. And it's feeding through to taking a leap of faith. There's a real need to trust something here for Aries over the next six months, I feel, with this reading. And therefore the expectation, well, I'm just gonna wait. The situation will be wait for news to come back. Just wait before you really go into it. Just really wait. And therefore what you're expecting is a little bit of limbo maybe with the um, with the handman. Possibly with the five of pentacles because you still don't know much about this. Five of pentacles also means to be shut out. The doors are closed. Something's not opening up to you. All right, so it might be a case of something's not opening up to you and you're having to wait for information, especially if it's a business or it's a money deal or, you know, it's a job or something like that. It just seems like something comes in because we've got this devil here and that can mean something that's really, really tempting. But remember how the devil tempted um, Eve in the Garden of Eden. You know, it's that type of thing. You know, it's too good to be true and I feel that you guys need to find out more about this in the next six months. What are the hidden factors about this thing though? Well, it's clouded by the moon. So there are secrets here. There are hidden things lurking. But what is hidden in the hidden factors? The world. Well, it might be that what is hidden, what you're, what you're not seeing is, is that this thing is quite successful. The world, all right? So the world, it's a, it's a beautiful energy. We're seeing that this, you know, the around the hidden factors, the moon, so if it's, um, if it's maybe a job or something like that or money or something like that, well, the energies are around the moon. It might be that this is something that's quite secret. Not many people know about this thing, maybe. Maybe that's why you're kind of like, this seems too good to be true. Is it something I should go for? Because I haven't heard of it. I don't know much about it. And it might be that it's actually shrouded in mystery because it is so successful with the world card. And why is it the world card here? Because of the Knight of Swords. This might have fast turnaround or it might have fast results. It's so successful, maybe because it brings in really fast results with that Knight of Swords. Remember, Knight of Swords uh, brings in fast energy. So it might be that this thing is shrouded in secrecy because it's so successful with the World Card. It's had really, really good results. And that's because it seems to bring a fast turnaround, potentially, with the Knight of Swords energy here. I feel if it's a relationship thing, you know, you're very, very dubious around whoever this person is that comes in Aries. You're, you're a little bit suspicious of them. It's almost like they're too good to be true. So what is it that you're not seeing about this person? Well, it might be they've got a lot of things that they're hiding here. And that thing that they're hiding is manifesting in the world. And that's interesting how the world will be a hidden factor. Because usually the world is a hidden factor means success but it can also mean that cycles are completed here why are cycles completed with this person especially if it's a love interest maybe it's because they're a knight of swords they're in and out in and out they move very fast in a situation so it might mean that you know this person's got a secret it might be manifesting as the world because this person tends to like to tie things up nice and neat after they're done i.e relationships because they're just a mover you know, they just like to move in and out of relationships, which the Knight of Swords does real, real fast. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands aren't the type of people that like to stick around. They're just not interested in that. So maybe if it's love, some of you guys, your fears are founded. You know, they're founded because you are dubious about a particular person. And it might also be here 
with the Queen of Cups, especially if this is somebody that comes in and they're quite tempting. But you need to find out more information about them because you want clarity on this individual. In the present, everything's going good for you with the Sun card, but you're trying to use your intuition around this person because maybe you're starting to feel quite comfortable with the Temperance card. Okay? The full card, taking a leap of faith, but you're hoping that you've made a right decision here because it is a new relationship and you might also be starting to develop some feelings. So therefore what you're expecting, well, I'm just gonna wait a moment, okay? I'm just gonna wait for information. Does anybody know anything about this person here? Okay, as a result of that, you're expecting, okay, I'm not gonna give myself completely to this person with the hanged man, I'm just gonna step back a moment and take a pause because I'm not sure with this five of pentacles that we're really on the same page. What you're not seeing, if this is a person around you, Aries, they may have some hidden shit going on because the situation around them is the moon and the moon means secrets, things that are not revealed. Could be because they're the world. So it could be that this person's very popular as well with the world. Cards like the world, the chariot, uh, six of wands, all of those cards show a very popular, very charismatic individual. So this person might be, what you're not seeing is this person is you know, not just with you, but with others, seen as being the world, maybe, seen as being, you know, the creme de la creme. And maybe that's why. The reason for this is that they're the Knight of Swords. They move in, they move out. They're very quick with what they do. But they're also very attractive with it at the same time. So you, if it's a person, your fears might be founded by this. That might be confirmed. What happens in the immediate future with this situation, Aries? Well, it's showing that the energies are around the star. There's positivity here. There's, uh, you know, optimism. There's cause for faith when you get the situation around the immediate future. But this can also mean clarity too. Let's see what the actual immediate future comes in as a result of that star. Oh, strength. That's nice. I think if it's a relationship, then there is trust that will be developed within this with the strength card. Because this is, the situation is remaining optimistic. Yeah, there is, you know, it can also be that good news has been received and now you feel maybe in the immediate future that you can trust this individual. But why is that with the strength card? Yeah, because of justice. I feel that for some of you guys, this is a soulmate relationship here. Strength and justice are real as readers, soulmate cards and also the star. Because for me, the star means that you are aligned with your perfect partner at the perfect time. It's an amazing card. So I feel in the immediate future, things do work out for you. It might be that what's hidden, what you're not seeing, is that this person's a little bit of a cat, or they can be, or they have been. All right, especially if it's love. I feel that if it's business, yeah, it might be that you're just taking your time to find out a particular about a particular situation here. Something's very tempting to you. You don't know whether you want to go for it because you're not sure of it. You don't know much about it. And the hidden factors, yeah, it might be clouded in secrecy, but it is a very successful thing because it seems to bring returns in very quickly, maybe with that Knight of Swords. And therefore, in the immediate future, the situation will be around positivity, positive outcomes. Okay, You'll be very focused on with the um, star card as the uh, crowning area of the situation around the immediate future. This is very positive, dreams coming true. In which strength? It's a good collaboration. It's a good partnership with the strength card. And why is that? Because of justice. You're actually starting to see some rewards from this. Okay, you might have also gained what you were looking for. We can see here if it's anything to do with a business situation. It's hanging in the balance. You're expecting things not to actually take off. You're going to sit back and just wait because the doors are closed. Maybe you haven't found out what you needed to find out. But with justice, you found it out. It's completion. Finally, you've got the answers that you're seeking here. So this is really good here. It's all steam ahead for relationships or otherwise. And what's the overall outcome? Six of Swords is nice. Six of Swords is uh, a card that represents progress. So it could be that the crowning area will be around progress in this situation. And as a result of that, the King of Swords could be a person, Aries, around you coming in. Progress here could be with the King of Swords. And what's the reason for that? Yeah, judgment, that's nice. And judgment is rebirth, starting again, okay? So I feel that there's somebody here, could be a king of swords here, a person around you. I feel that there was a time, you know, it took time to kind of trust this person, Aries. But I feel that, you, you know, if it's a relationship, I feel that you do actually start to trust this individual. 
okay? I feel that you do start to trust them. I feel that you just needed time to kind of, you know, figure this individual out. I feel that if it's work or business or anything otherwise like that, this is something you're not willing to kind of, if you want to go into it, you want to take a leap of faith, but you still need to get that little bit more information that says everything's going to be okay. And it is because it's shown with these three cards here. And the outcome shows a King of Swords energy. There's progress here, which is manifesting in a person, King of Swords. And that's because of judgment. Perhaps you made a judgment on this person to, you know, uh, to move forward. Okay, this is very, very good reading. It's probably one of the best ones I've done alongside Scorpio um, for, your, for your readings for the six months. We're going to get some clarifiers on some of these areas. Um, who is the King of Swords? Show me in two to three cards from the top of the deck. Who is this King of Swords? Who is this King of Swords? Who is the King of Swords? Show me. The Whip. Okay, when I do these readings, I often need to get my spreadsheet up just to make sure that um, I'm along the, sorry, the right track in what I'm trying to tell you here. And then I'll show you the cards. Okay. This is someone who's either um, had a conflict, which is the wit card, in a relationship which is the locket with another woman or another person, the snake. Okay? So this is some... It can either be that they were in a passionate relationship with another woman or they were in... A, they had conflict in a relationship with another woman. This is who this King of Swords individual is here. Maybe this is why you weren't so certain of this person. Maybe that's because... There was somebody else and you just weren't sure about what they were telling you maybe you felt that they had something to hide but it's saying that this person here in the overall outcome had conflict or they were in a passionate relationship maybe with another individual here aries um let's have a look at um why is aries um why is the situation for Aries, the three of rods in their expectations. Why are they waiting? Why is the situation that they're waiting? What are they waiting for? Why is the situation, the three of rods, in the expectations for Aries? Yeah. Uh, because you stressed the mice over an invitation, the bouquet from the gentleman. Can you see that? So you guys aren't doing something here with someone. There's new love, I'm quite sure of it for some of you guys, because you don't trust this particular person. You're stressed. You're waiting here. The situation around your expectations is about you guys waiting, and it's because you're stressed over an invitation that comes from the gentleman. And that's because, in the overall outcome, this person is very present in your lives over the next six months, Aries. But this person, it's showing... I asked who is the King of Swords, and it says that this person... They either have a passionate relationship with another woman or they had conflict in a relationship with another woman. And it could be because of judgment this person is showing up. Maybe they come back. So maybe this is somebody from the past for you. Maybe there is a starting all over again, but you need to sort of take your time and work out, is this going to be the right thing for me? I want to see, uh, we've got the moon card here, and I want to see what it is that's being hidden. So Universe Spirit, in the Hidden Factors, there is the Moon card, and it says the situation is that something is being hidden uh, from Aries. What is it that is being hidden in three cards? What is it that is being hidden in three cards, showman? The Lady, the Letter, and the Fish. That's interesting. Don't know what that means, really, because really it's the lady receives an email about money because this is the fish. This is apparently what's being hidden. So maybe this person here has issues with another partner. Maybe what they're hiding is, is that they've got, you know, payments that they're making to someone else or they're having to, you know, because it's showing the lady who receives 
notification of money. So maybe they're hiding that they're paying something out to somebody else. I get the impression, guys, that you guys are very tempted by a particular person, the devil. But you need more, mentally and emotionally, you need more information because you want to get to the truth. There's something that doesn't add up for some of you guys here in this reading for those guys, for um, somebody that you meet. In the present, things are going good. The sun, you're feeling emotionally stable with the Queen of Cups because maybe this relationship brings you a sense of harmony and balance with the Temperance card. Could also be because you reconciled maybe with someone here. The hopes, the situation is around taking the initiative, taking a risk, you know, taking a leap of faith, but you're hoping that you'll make the right decision because you got feelings for this person with the Ace of Cups or it could be a new relationship. But your expectations, well, the situation is around waiting. Just waiting a little bit until you get more information. And that's because you're a little bit stressed over how nice or an invitation. Sometimes this can be how nice somebody is, the bouquet. But you're a little bit stressed over how nice or uh, this gentleman is. You don't really trust it. Or you're a little bit stressed over an invitation that's been made from this gentleman. So therefore, you expect you're going to hold a little bit back here. Because you still don't know everything you want to know about this person. What you're not seeing is that there are secrets that this person may be keeping. The situation is showing secrets of the moon. It might be around a lady that this person is sending the letter. This could be a check with the fish, sending checks to. So it might be somebody in their past or an ex-partner that they've been dealing with on a purely professional financial level. And that's manifesting as the world, okay? And the world can mean, well, maybe this is the ending of a cycle in terms of this situation for this particular man here, man or woman here. And that's because of the Knight of Swords, changes, things that want to be over in a really quick way. Maybe this person's paying someone off. Therefore, the immediate future, it is a positive situation here with the star. It's manifesting in strength, being with this person. It's a soulmate relationship. Because of justice, you're meant to be together, basically, I feel, with both cards. And therefore, the outcome shows, shows progress is being made. It seems to be with a King of Swords, Aries. Can be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But this might be somebody who is very difficult to work out. King of Swords can be awfully emotionally detached. And he's all difficult to work out because he's had some problems, maybe, with another woman here, with these three cards. So this man or woman in the overall outcome is there because of judgment. You decide to give the relationship a chance or it's a reconciliation thing going on. It's a very, very interesting reading for the month for the, the months between April and September 2017. Um, um, Aries, I would like to say thank you very much for joining me on Carol's Universe and I will see you guys again in May. Take care.